Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Doug. Today, I'm going to give you an overview of Analysis Workspace. Now, before we dive in and start actually doing stuff in the interface, and you can see that I've got a project up here, and I'm going to talk about all these different things <laughs> in a minute. But before we really do that, I want to talk about what it is. Now, Analysis Workspace is Adobe's most powerful analysis tool. It's designed to be a flexible, freeform environment where you can explore and visualize data and generate insights you can then share in projects or dashboards like this to others in your organization. Now this allows you to be a data-driven organization. You might have heard that phrase before, but you can be a data-driven organization instead of just guessing on what is going on and what you should do next. Now the cool thing is that you'll find analysis workspace or this interface in both Adobe Analytics as well as Customer Journey Analytics, which is especially designed to analyze your data across multiple data sources. Having this analysis workspace interface in both of those applications means that you don't have to relearn an interface when you move from one to the other, which is very cool. Now there's a lot of things you can do in here and in this short overview, I'm not gonna tell you everything you're gonna need to know in order to become an expert. However, let me just jump up to another tab up here and you can always go over to Experience League at experienceleague.adobe.com, which is, you know, probably where you're viewing this. And you can go to the documentation to learn about Analysis Workspace. You can also go to Learn Tutorials and then Analytics. That's what I have here. And then you can see that I've expanded this Analysis Workspace folder on the left. And you got basics and tips and tricks and all these different things here. And you've got really, you know, just an absolute ton of tutorials. So as I go through some things and you're like, mm, I want to really dig in deeper on that little thing, then you can come back here and you can either look for it in the navigation or up in the top. There's also a search where you can then search for different topics as well. Last but not least over here, I'm going to go to this other tab which is right here for recommended courses. So once I've logged in over here to Experience League, then I can go up to learn recommended courses, having set up a little profile to say, you know, I'm an analyst or I'm a marketer or I'm a developer, etc. Then you can see these different courses by going again to learn recommended courses, choose analytics, and then you can see I, have, I even have one here getting started with analysis workspace. And then this will give you even more. You can see here about an hour and a half worth of videos to get you up to speed on the basics of using analysis workspace. There are then other courses in here as well. So you can scroll down and see whether it's administration or exporting and democratization or filtering with segmentation and freeform tables. And anyway, there's a lot of stuff that you can do here in these courses. Okay, let's get back over here to the actual product. Now, when you're just starting out here, you're going to need to create a new project. This is a project. And so I've already got one up here, but you're going to, you know, you won't be in one like this, but you'll basically go to either open one that you've already created at some point or somebody else has created for you or you can create a new one so if I go over to open you'll see that I have a list of them here that are available to me and I can also then just create a new one I can go over here and say create project when you do this you can either create a blank project and start from scratch or you can create a project based on some templates whether they are standard or custom templates and so I'm going to scroll down right here and I'm going to choose this one, content consumption, which is, as you can see over here, which content is being consumed most and is engaging users. So I'm going to create a new project based on this template so it will pre-fill some stuff in there for me so that I don't have to start from scratch. Create. 
Now you can see that this created some stuff for me. And so if I scroll down, I've got some tables and some visualizations and, and things like that. But let me just kind of go up here and let's talk about what I have here because it's important to know the building blocks of this project. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to actually collapse this. And you can see this is just one entity here. And this is called a panel. Okay, so we've got panels and we've got over here on the left rail panels. We've got visualizations and then we've got components. And so these are hierarchical in nature, right? So components are all added to visualizations. The visualizations are added to panels. So a panel is just kind of a canvas here. Again, if I expand that now, you can see that this panel has several visualizations on it, right? So these are different visualizations that have been added from this menu of different kinds of visualizations that you can add to your panels. For example, here's a flow visualization. So you can see when people come in from this entry page, then where's the first place they landed? What are the pages that they landed on? And you can expand that out by clicking on home page. And that'll take it out to the next page. You know, when they came in, people who went to the home page, that was like 25% of them. But from there, where did they go, etc.? And then if we scroll down, we've got a freeform table, which has a lot of great data. In this case, your top pages. So the pages people are hitting the most and how many times they're hitting them and on how many visits or sessions, how many people and lots of other information here about your pages. We've got another flow visualization here about how people leave your site. And then we've also got a flow based on sections or groups of pages and then the data as well for sections or again, groups of pages. And these are just some examples of the visualizations that you can put on a panel. So again, you can see over here, I'm not gonna go through all of these because we have other videos and the documentation to go through every single one of these. But just as an example, here's an easy one. I'm gonna grab this map visualization and drag it over here and just drop it in here. And I'm going to say this is going to be based on unique visitors. I'll just select that and say go. It puts in the map. It shows me how many visitors are in each location, et cetera. And as you go in, it'll break it out to the different countries. And even, for example, areas in the country, if I zoom in even further. So anyway, you can see that this then moved over to components. But again, going back to visualizations where I got the map, you have all these different types of visualizations that will help you understand the data that's coming to your site and the people that are coming to your site. So once again, these are visualizations that are on our panel here, which is a canvas. And then the next thing down was components. So then you have these components, which are things like dimensions, which page, which refer type, which day, which campaign, those kinds of things, right? Which this and which that. And then you've got your metrics, which is how many. You can see metrics across here. How many page views, how many visits, how many visitors, these kinds of things. So we have dimensions, which would very commonly be in a row like this. Then we've got the metrics, which are very commonly in a column. Then we have segments. So you can limit all of this data to just a subset of your data and then date ranges so that we can narrow this down to the right time period. And then, of course, at the top of each panel, you have, wait for it, right up here, more date controls for that panel. Now, as you use this interface, it's very dynamic. It's a very drag and drop, right? So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to add another freeform table. I'm just going to put it right up here at the top. And now, as you can see, this is waiting for me to drag stuff into it. So let's say, for example, that I want to drag in marketing channel. So I'm going to drag this over here. This is which marketing channel or how did they get to my site? And then I want to talk about, let me click X on that. And then it'll bring me back here. And I want to choose revenue as my metric. So instead of occurrences or in other words kind of like hits to my site that came from these different marketing channels 
or sources. I'm going to say, how much revenue did I receive on my site when people came from those? So I can just drag this over and drop it over here. Now, if I'm going to add several metrics, you'll see my little drop zones that says add. If I go into the middle here, it'll say replace. I can add it down over here on the right as well. I'm just going to replace for now and drop it right in there. This rebuilds my data and now gives me the revenue coming from these different marketing channels. And since this is revenue, as you can see, and I do sell things on this site, I can also then break it down by things like product. I'm going to go to product here. And in fact, I'm going to say, not worried about unspecified right now. This is demo data, but I'm just going to grab, I'm going to shift click some of these, say two through four, and I'm going to drag this product down on those because it can I can break it down by one or in this case all three I'm gonna let go of that and you can see by dragging this over and dropping it on those when I had all three of those selected it will now break all three of those down by the products that resulted in you know that much revenue so the other ones it didn't do because I didn't have those selected so this is a very drag and drop dynamic interface for you. Now let's do a couple more things to show you what we can do in this interface. I'm going to click on that X. I'm going to now add visits as another metric. So remember, if I drag that over, I can actually put it before it. I can replace it. I'm going to actually put it over here on the other side so that now I have revenue and visits or, you know, how many sessions where people, you know, came from social media, came from search, came from email, and then, you know, touched these different products in some way, which is then shown over here for the visits to those products. Now, right here in the interface, you can also create your own metrics. As you can see, we had metrics over here and we've drag and drop those. And this isn't all of them. I can say show all. These are just kind of the most recent five that I've been working with. But I can always create a new metric what we call a calculated metric by clicking here. I can also just even click on revenue. I'm going to command click both of these here. Now I'm gonna right click and say create metric from selection. Click on that and say divide it because I want to do revenue divided by visits. And now it has taken this and gone in and done revenue per visit and I've got those numbers here. Now, if I want to look at that at all, I can also click on this little eye right there and you can see what it's built as. I can, in fact, I can go in and edit that. It'll bring up my calculated metric builder and I can go over here and say, you know what, instead of being a decimal, I'm going to change that to currency and I'm going to apply that up here. And now that looks a little bit better because now I have $941 here per visit for this product when they came in from social media. So as you can see, you can get really deep uh, doing these things. And again, I can't show you everything just based on the time we have today. But in any case, I wanted to show you how powerful and flexible these freeform tables are. And then you can actually create visualizations and add visualizations for this information. So for example, you can see as I mouse over this that I have this little icon right here. And what I can do, you know, if I want to look at all my social media trended here, I can click there. Or if I want to trend it just for a specific product, I can do that as well. I'm going to go up here to social media. I'm going to click on this visualize button. I'm going to click on that. And that will give me this line chart for these three different metrics that I have in there because I selected that row. So it's just visualizing this data up here. And you can see as I get to one data point that it will show those numbers across all three. And then I can, you know, move to a different time period, et cetera, and look at those numbers. In this case, there are three there, but you can see this number of 38,000 is so much higher than 300, you know, or 200, et cetera that those numbers are actually just down here a little further. But in any case, you can create these visualizations for that. Now I can also go down and say, you know what, let me hit search. I'm going to click on that one. And now I have 
search there as well, and I have another one. Maybe I didn't need to. I'm going to go ahead and delete one of those. But on this one here, maybe I just click on search. And as you can see, as I click around, that data will change. So it is tied to this table and you can even lock that. So if you click around, it doesn't change. So lots of stuff you can do there. Again, there's lots of other videos to show you the different things you can do with freeform tables, how you can right click and compare time periods. You can, if I scroll down, you can see that you can create alerts to say, let me know when something happens, whether it's too high or too low, or it's just outside of the norm, those kinds of things. So you've got lots of right click information here. Again, we have videos about the different right click options, but it's just a completely free form and easy to use experience here so that you can understand your data. Couple more quick things. You, I will say that if I go back up here, you also have a text visualization so that you can drag that over. You can just add some information to give anybody who's going to look at this a frame of reference and say, you know, here's what this means or take a special look at this data, that kind of thing. You can also add very specific annotations to any field or any visualization to say, here's what this means, or this number is high because we ran this campaign or any kind of things like that. And then when this is, you know, worthy of sending to somebody, then you can go up and you can share this as well. You can also curate this. So it only has the data in it that people really need to look at. And then you can share that to people and you can have them edit or you can have them just look at it and those kinds of things. So lots of flexibility here. Uh, some great ways to look at your data, to share your data with other people in the organization. I hope that helps. Remember, if you want to learn more about how to use Analysis Workspace, just go over to the other tutorials and courses and documentation in Experience League at experienceleague.adobe.com and learn more. Have a great day.